like guys if I'm back again with another video uh, sometime back uh, I have uploaded a video uh, showing uh, the minimum and the maximum functions uh, how to get Excel to tell you what the smallest value is in a list of values and what is the largest value in a list of values now the way that uh, that it usually works out is fine you can do that but supposing uh, like this list over here you see uh, what I've done is I essentially uh, got a list here which is not in any particular order and I've intentionally done that uh, there's also one of the numbers in that list is a zero now supposing we need to find out what the minimum number is in this list but the minimum number is not a zero a non-zero minimum number now if you were to just uh, do the minimum function the way uh, we had talked about in that video uh, what it will do is since zero is zero is the smallest number it will just give you zero but what you're trying to do is you're trying to uh, do the uh, get, get the minimum number which is not a zero a non-zero uh, minimum number so the, the few ways the you know the three, three ways I'm going to show you here how to do that there are actually both ways but I'm just going to uh, show you three different ways uh, to accomplish the same thing uh, give you the, if you just uh, eyeball this list uh, you can see the smallest number that is not a zero would be a one okay so what we need to do is we need to figure out a formula that will give us the smallest non-zero number okay now one quick and dirty way with, to, of doing this is taking uh, anything that's zero and converting that to a black okay in your know, you create another column and what you do is you take all these numbers if they're not zeros you you know copy them as they are if they uh, if it happens to be a zero you put a black in the place with the black so uh, let's do a formula here if c4 that means this cell here is not equal to zero then it should be this cell oops come on then it should be this cell otherwise that means if it is a zero put a blank um, to uh, open the uh, close parenthesis is a blank and close parenthesis so now if you were to uh, copy this list down here you see all these numbers trans you know go across but the, for the zero you get a blank now if you are to do a just use a regular min function on this list it will give you the one all right so uh, the drawback here is uh, you know whenever you want to do this you need to create a column and the formula and then have those numbers go across in this new column and you know, it's, it's, if it's if you know, you got a big, long, complicated spreadsheet, this may be a luxury that you could not afford. Okay. Now, let I'm going to show you two other ways of doing this. Okay. One is a function called small. Now, what the small function does is uh, you give it a, a list of numbers, and then you say uh, the smallest or the smallest. Uh, the second smallest number, third smallest number, and so on and so forth. So, uh, what we're going to do is uh, go, go ahead and see how this the small function works. Small returns the kth smallest value in a data set. Okay. So we are going to be using this data set here, list of values. Now, what we need to do is we need to eliminate all the zeros. Okay. Uh, and essentially what we do is the, the way we, that we do that is uh, we count how many zeros that we have in this list and we increment that by one and say okay give us skip those many from the bottom and then give us the number that comes up so we do uh, if you remember the, the count if uh, formula okay uh, so we're going to do this uh, the range is this is the range okay and the criteria is it should be zero so what this essentially does is and i'm going to add one to it 
Now, what this essentially is saying is, give me the smallest number from this list. And since there happens to be one zero, one occurrence of zero, so, and that would essentially be the smallest number, but skip that one number and go one up, one above that. Okay? And close brackets. Okay. So this was the, oops, regular min function. Okay. This was new column method. All right. Now we used the small function. And now one other way to implement the, the, the min function is if you were to use arrays. I'm not too fond of it, uh, but I, I just want to show, it, show you here anyways. Uh, the way that it works is min. Now you, what you need to do is say an array of numbers which are non zero okay so within this you say if this is greater than zero okay if this is greater than zero then i'm sorry I'm just to put a comma um, there would be this list here okay and then close brackets. Now, if I were to just hit enter now, it would give us a zero. Okay? That's because, you see here, these are arrays. Uh, just hitting enter uh, does not make it into an array. It just gives you a list. But I, what I want to, excuse me, what I want to do is have Excel treated as an array. So the way you do that is, when you before you hit enter you hold on the control and the shift key and then you hit enter and when, when you do that you see this squiggly uh, brackets that come on either side that essentially tells that this is th this is going to be an array okay i personally am not too fond of this method reason being um, sooner or later inadvertently is bound to happen that you will forget to hit uh, when you're hitting enter, you'll forget to hold down the shift and control and you'll get the wrong answer. Okay, so uh, my best, uh, uh, my, you know, my, my most favorite is using this option here. Okay, and that's, that's essentially how you would uh, do a, um, the minimum of a list from a list of numbers and the number, the, the minimum number is, should be a non-zero. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.